So, your installation is complete and you're ready to go. Let's do this. Oh no. Why isn't this working? Have I wired it up wrong? Is the board faulty? Is there a bug in the software? Well, the most likely answer is it is none of those things. You see, AOG can steer many different systems in many different ways. Some might turn the steering wheel of a combine harvester via a motor touching the wheel. Another might be over the canvas. In this particular tractor, we're driving the hydraulics directly. In addition, there are different ways to read steering angles, different types of machines and in short, lots of different variables. When you buy commercial auto steer, it arrives with a baseline tune that's suitable for your machine and your needs. But AOG doesn't know enough about your setup yet. So we have to teach it. Welcome to the world of tuning. But first, a note of caution. Firstly, not everyone follows the same process, and as you gain more experience, you'll find your own tips and tricks. And please, do share any suggestions or help you can offer in the comments. Also, you can't just copy the settings here for this tractor and expect your system to steer. It's near certain that won't work, for the reasons we said a moment ago. First of all, AOG has a steering wizard, a step-by-step -step process to take you through the basics and that can get you pretty much where you need to be. We would also recommend you watch the Understanding PWM video also in this playlist. So, the first way to get your steering set up is via the tuning wizard, so select it from the tools menu. Then, click Start Wizard. You'll be asked if you wish to load defaults, and it is recommended you do. Next, you can enter the dimensions of your machine, and here we are using centimeters. The illustrations show what you should be measuring. Enter the type of control you use to engage auto steer. Usually this is a momentary button. Here, I'm selecting none as I'm using an integrated button on the CAN bus. You can leave the AD converter connection at single unless you know you have good reason to change this. Your motor driver is usually Citron, and don't select to invert hydraulic relays or use a Danfoss controller unless you are absolutely certain this applies to you. For most people, it does not apply. Next, we look at roll. Make sure the machine is leaning strongly to the right and ensure the roll is reading a positive figure. If it is not, click the button to invert roll. Next, we need to zero the roll. This means, when the tractor is on a level surface, the IMU should read zero. It's possible your box is not on a level surface, so AOG needs to take this off level into account. Find somewhere flat, and click zero roll. Here, we had already zeroed roll before coming to the field, so no need to do it again. Now, we need to be sure the wheel angle sensor reads the correct direction when the wheel is turned. The green bar should indicate the direction of steering, but click invert WAS if it does not. Also, it's difficult to perfectly align your wheel angle sensor so dead ahead reads zero. Drive straight forward so the tractor is following heading straight ahead, and touch the zero. If you can't get this offset into single figures, you should consider trying to realign your sensor. There is a better way to fine tune this however and we'll show you that later. Next. Engage auto steer and ensure your tractor steers in the correct direction when you click the left or right buttons to change the set angle. If it does not, click invert direction. Now, we have some critical settings to adjust. Do not skip this part. Click the arrow to begin calibration. As the instructions suggest, turn to the right with the wheel held steady at around 20 degrees as you see it. Don't go by the number at the bottom. And click record. Wait until the process completes and this figure should be your counts per degree or CPD. Then, do the same process to the left and this gives your Ackerman figure.
Next, we'll set a limit for turning. We don't want AOG to hold your steering at full lock, so turn the wheel to a comfortable position and set maximum. Now, we need to know how to disable AOG if you grab the steering wheel. The AI board can measure pressure via a 5 volt sensor on the steering valve. It can measure current via the Citron or steering wheel counts via an encoder. This particular tractor has a steering valve, so we'll read the pressure sensor. Generally, if you are using the Citron to turn a wheel or motor, use a Kia, you use current. If you are reading a sensor on a steering valve, you use pressure. CAN bus has its own system, so you don't select anything here. Set a panic stop speed. This means if the speed suddenly drops from AOG's point of view, it should immediately disengage steering. Think of it as you're suddenly braking hard in an emergency. Now, we start tuning the motor or valve. Please refer to the PWM video in the V6 playlist to understand what's happening here. Minimum PWM should be set to an amount that is as high as possible without the steering turning. So engage steer and press the left or right buttons until the machine starts steering slowly. Then, back it off just a little so it stops. With Canvas, the AIO board always sets this at 1, regardless of what you pick here. A steering motor will typically need a much higher PWM than a valve. Watch the set figure, which you change with the left and right buttons in the WAS figure. You want the WAS to stop moving, but only just... Remember, you want to set this to just below the wheels starting to turn. Watch the hydraulic ramps if that helps. Next, we'll look at proportional gain and PWM maximum. If gain is too low, AOG will take forever to reach the line. If too high, it will continually cross the line back and forth. PWM maximum is the top speed the wheel should turn. Engage steer and use the zero, left and right buttons to change the angle, watching to see the aggression it takes to make a change. When you're happy, click the right arrow to continue. And the auto steer wizard is complete. The things to take away from this video are that CPD, Ackerman, minimum PWM, proportional gain and anything to do with wheel angle sensor or critical settings. If any of these are way out, you will never be able to steer your machine properly. We will discuss why this is in more detail in the manual configuration video along with how to tune the Pure Pursuit and Stanley algorithms. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for the next one. See you next time!